Dear friends, this is my tutorial 39 in VASP. So in this video, you're going to learn how to do VASP solvent calculation using VASP code. Okay. So we will see what are the files required for uh, VASP solvent calculation. So in order to perform your VASP solvent calculation, you need to optimize your system in the gas phase. Okay. So this is the system. I optimized in the gas phase. I will show you the I will show you the optimized uh, structure. So this is the optimized structure. So FeN4C. Okay. So I'm going to use this system for wasp salt calculations. Okay. So I also made one video how to do geometry optimization using WASP. Okay. If you want to know more please visit that video you can understand how to do optimization using VASP code okay so that's all second things you you have to do the single point energy calculation so using the optimized geometry okay in order to get your wave curve file so wave curve file is very important to do the web salt calculation okay first you do optimization second you can do a single point energy calculation get your wave curve file okay so that is the important second step then you can take that wave curve to put your wasp salt folder to do wasp salt calculation so now i will tell you the in core file for wasp salt calculations okay so this is the in core file for wasp salt calculation so these things is default like uh, SEF calculation only you no need to change and also you can change here i start one okay then only it will read existing wave commission uh, file okay for that you just you change this one only other things are same only like SEF calculation okay then you have to see here wasp salt parameter this is the important parameter for wasp salt calculation so you have to use l salt equal to true if you put L sol equal to true, this would show on the solvation model. Okay. Then you have to put EB underscore K. This is the dielectric constant of the solvent. So here I am using water. That's why I mentioned the dielectric constant of that water. Okay. If you want to other solvent dielectric constant, please visit to this uh, gaussian.com serf so go to the solvent section you will find many solvent dielectric constant okay you can use which solvent you want you can choose the dielectric constant put there okay so this is the two important parameter for vascular calculation so if you put this two parameter uh, that vas uh, will automatically take this uh, three values okay default value these are the default value okay sigma underscore k nc underscore k tao this is the default value so if you want to change this uh, default value you can also change and see the effect of this value okay one of the paper also they studied the effect of uh, this sigma and nck and tao i will share that paper you can read it you can understand and how to how affect that uh, value in your uh, solvation energy okay that's all so if you want to consider lambda dk you can consider otherwise you can leave it okay this is actually so uh, this boltzmann model electrolytic model so if you want to consider this model you can activate you have to put 3.041 then it will activate okay otherwise you put zero otherwise no need to mention in this place okay that's all this other two tags I think you no need no need to worry about this this and all uh, not record for web salt calculation okay so th that's all this is the important parameter for your web salt calculation okay then you can submit this in curve file with the you generated uh, wave curve file from the SEF calculation so you put the year SEF calculation wave curve file and in car your k point and post car and port car and submission script just submit your job and you will get the output file so i will show you the energy of that uh, web salt calculation so this is the completed web salt calculation i will uh, show you that uh, web log file 
So this is the web blog file. So here you can see the web car file read was read successfully. Okay. So we have mentioned I start one. Okay. That's why. So then finally you can see the um, see web solid energy. Okay. So this is the web solid energy. Okay. You have to use this value for your free energy calculation uh, the to see the solvent effect. Okay. That's all you can do yourself uh, for other calculation, website calculation, and calculate your free energy profile. Okay, so if you want, I will share this in input file. Just you can get the link from the description box. Okay, that's all. That's all is over. So, thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and also please the uh, click the bell icon on future updates thank you thank you for watching enjoy